go to drawings.google.com so you can make your own badge. Notice how rectangular the Google Drawing is. So I'm going to go to the file menu. I'm going to choose page setup. So you're going to go to page setup and it defaults to this 4 by 3 ratio which is a rectangle. So you're going to want to click on where it says standard 4 to 3 and change it to custom. When I customize it I'm going to change it to something that's large enough that I can print it out but also I can shrink it down and it looks really good. I recommend doing 5 inches by 5 inches. So that gives me a nice square and that's really the key. It doesn't really matter what the size is so long as it's square. When I download it, when I use it, I can resize it to make it smaller. But if you usually make something bigger, it pixelates. So 5 inches is a good size so that if you want to use it in places where you might print it as a poster on the wall or make it as a t-shirt, it wouldn't look bad. But I can also use it in other places where it would be smaller. Go to the Shapes tool and choose Circle. Now it says oval and that's because it does not default to making a circle. It's actually pretty tricky to make a circle. If you want an actual circle, what you want to do is hold down the shift key. So I'm holding down the shift key and you'll notice that my badge is a perfect circle. I'm going to resize this, make it a little larger and I want to get it centered. And those red guidelines, they're going to help me get that circle perfectly centered. So right now, I have a perfect circle on a 5 inch by 5 inch Google drawing. Now, the trick to making it really look like a badge is to use the border weight. So come up here to the toolbar. You see the fill color, the border color, and the border weight. Go ahead and click on that and choose probably about 8 pixels, maybe bigger. It just depends. And use the paint can to choose a fill color of your choice. Now it's looking more like a badge. Now you have some options, I'm going to name this, you have some options to insert. I can insert word art. All right, and here's a fun trick. With word art, you can change the font. So if you want it to look different, go ahead and change the font. You resize it because it's an image rather than just a text box. So you don't set the font size, you just resize it. You can change the color on that. There we go. I'm going to add my Bitmoji. And put that on there. Now if you don't want to use your Bitmoji, you can use clip art. Just go to the insert menu, go to image, and choose search the web. So insert, image, search the web, and it's going to come over here on the side. Now I do type colon clip art because I want a trophy. And so you see I now have clip art trophies mostly. So that helps it to find it a little bit faster and easier. So I'm going to insert that. I'm going to resize this way down. Move it over here, angle it. So however you want to design your badge, and then you'll do one of two things. You can use the file menu and go publish to the web. So publish to the web will give you the image link, so you can use it anywhere you need an image link on the internet, for example, in Google Sheets. So I'm going to publish to the web. I choose publish, click on the publish button, okay. And then this link right here, you control C copy, this link right here is your image link. So that's how you insert images by URL where it's asking you to use an image link. Otherwise, what you can do is just use the file menu, choose download, and you want to use PNG. This is super important, PNG, because you'll notice this little checker box on the edges of your badge. That means it's transparent. So to leave it transparent, to maintain transparency, you want to make sure you use PNG because JPEG does not support transparent. It will have a white edge to it. So make sure you choose PNG and you'll see that it now downloads right into your download bar at the bottom.